So Chris Pratt is going to DC. I'm not saying Marvel's all marvelous, but damn, I'm a disappointed DC fan. Unless they do this. We're in no rush for Chris to go to DC, as we actually want a Star-Lord series and film much before this. But let's say in three to five years, Chris wants to work on an iconic DC role without having to be in 10 projects over 10 years. I believe I found the two greatest characters for Chris Pratt to play that fit that criteria and neither are Booster Gold. Go watch our short about who we think should play Booster Gold. I also believe for the main hitters of DC, they should be portrayed by actors from before or people that have never been in a superhero film. The first character up is Animal Man. Chris Pratt starring as Animal Man. How is this different from Star-Lord? Bernard Buddy Baker is an Earth-based character, which would work best in a live-action series, and doesn't interact with other DC characters in his story's developing years. In his origin event, Animal Man can connect to and draw power from the force that binds all living beings in the Animal Kingdom, or the Red. But different from Beast Boy, he's not a shapeshifter, but rather after deep analysis, can use the supernatural abilities of animals. He could perceive time like a fly to dodge a bullet, or have the strength of an elephant or an ant proportional to his human size, or even a Tyrannosaurus Rex, or fly like an eagle without the wings, or regrow a limb like a worm. The more he learns about microorganisms, the more powerful he becomes. Animal Man is an even more trippy version of She-Hulk and Deadpool. He goes way beyond breaking the fourth wall. He develops a bond with the animal kingdom to the point where he can talk with and ring the minds of animals. He is also like Scarlet Witch and is able to dream walk with other animals on the planet and perceive life through their eyes, even in a way you could view him as reincarnating living and dying as animals while he sleeps. This furthers his connection to the source of all creation and the Overvoid. This being in close relation with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is why I not only think Chris Pratt will want to get behind a multifaceted character like Animal Man. Not only can Animal Man be a character that's at any age, he's also a father and husband. All these relate to Star-Lord and are different enough and most importantly, his character has a meaningful story to tell. My second choice is a way more simpler pitch that you should be able to understand. What if in 10 years Chris Pratt played Alan Scott the first Green Lantern. I would love to see this happen in the fourth or fifth season of Lanterns on HBO Max. In another universe, Chris Pratt would have been a great Green Lantern in the DCEU. But since he played an even better Star-Lord, him playing a Green Lantern that's done everything before Hal Jordan? But maybe just a more family-oriented version is right up Chris Pratt's alley. Similar to Animal Man, it's not a huge commitment nor a heavy hitter, but you can still tell an important story with that character. And most importantly, can still have an impact on the DC universe and bring in viewers without having to be in 10 projects over 10 years as a huge commitment.